Published in 2015, Lair of Dreams is the second installment in the captivating fantasy series called The Diviners, crafted by the talented American author, Libba Bray. Garnering international acclaim, the series soared to the top of bestseller lists in multiple countries. Praised for its witty dialogue and meticulous historical accuracy, the novel explores various themes, including supernatural conflicts, the price of fame, racial injustice, and the enigmatic realm of dreams. Continuing from where the previous book, The Diviners, left off, the story immerses readers in the vibrant atmosphere of 1920s New York City. Inspired by a photograph of her grandmother from the year 1927, Bray set the stage for this captivating narrative. The opening chapters paint a vivid picture of the city, highlighting its intricate network of tunnels, bridges, diverse immigrant communities, clandestine speakeasies, and the burgeoning underworld lurking beneath the heart of Manhattan. Throughout Lair of Dreams, the story unfolds from a third-person perspective, delving deeper into the mysteries that await the characters. The young protagonist, Evie O'Neill, possesses psychic abilities, making her one of the gifted individuals known as diviners. In her quest to protect others, she unintentionally exposes her own extraordinary powers. With the ability to uncover the hidden history of anything she touches, from inanimate objects to living beings, Evie captures the attention of the press, earning the moniker of America's Sweetheart Seer. Her popularity skyrockets, leading to tempting opportunities such as a radio show. Amidst the whirlwind of fame, Evie finds herself immersed in a bustling social life, hosting extravagant parties and inadvertently neglecting her dear friend, Mabel, who happens to live in the same building. However, Evie's newfound celebrity status poses a threat to the anonymity of her fellow diviners. Among them is homeless Bill, who once possessed the power to kill with a touch, and her beloved uncle, Henry, whose struggling business, known as the Museum of American Folklore, Superstition, and the occult, or colloquially referred to as the Museum of Creepy Crawlies, is on the verge of financial collapse. As the narrative unfolds, readers are drawn into a web of mystery, intrigue, and the supernatural, as the lives of the characters intertwine and their destinies intertwine. Lair of Dreams takes readers on a mesmerizing journey through a richly imagined world, inviting them to uncover the secrets that lie within the realms of the diviners and the enigmatic powers they possess. The story introduces Henry Dubois, a talented pianist who earns a living playing in downtown bars, occasionally even performing at Webster Hall's Drag Ball. Through Henry's character, the author provides a glimpse into the vibrant gay culture of the 1920s. Like many other diviners, Henry seeks to keep his supernatural abilities hidden, though he doesn't shy away from using them for personal gain. In an attempt to reconnect with his lost love, Louis, from his time in New Orleans, Henry begins venturing into dreams, hoping to find a way to reunite with him. During one of these dream excursions, Henry encounters Ling Chan, a sarcastic and disabled girl living in his neighborhood, who is also traversing the dream world. Recognizing their shared ability, Henry encourages Ling to assist him in his search for Louis. After some hesitation, Ling agrees to join him. One day, a construction crew working on a subway project uncovers a mysterious box near a skeleton deep underground. Before they can remove the skeleton, an eerie cry reverberates through the subway tunnel. That night, each of the crew members falls asleep and experiences a dream involving a haunting music box. The melody from the dream lingers in their minds, rendering them unable to wake up despite the efforts of their loved ones. Soon, pus-filled blisters and foul-smelling wounds afflict their bodies, leading to their eventual demise. The affliction quickly spreads throughout the city, earning the moniker of the sleeping sickness. The narrative delves into the dreams experienced by one of the subway workers, George, providing a glimpse of the initially pleasant and warm dreams that quickly transform into nightmarish scenarios. A voice in the dream insists that George must make a promise to secure his release, trapping him in a state of eternal slumber. As the sleeping sickness spreads, the blame falls unfairly on the Chinese immigrants residing in Chinatown, as the illness appears to be more prevalent in their community on the Lower East Side. The exotic nature of the disease and its higher incidence rate in Chinatown fuels prejudice and scapegoating against the Chinese population. The story delves further into the intertwined lives of Henry, Ling, and other characters, as they navigate the escalating turmoil caused by the sleeping sickness and strive to unravel the mysteries lurking within the realm of dreams. Even Ling, who was born in America, becomes a victim of the mass hysteria surrounding the epidemic. 
To maintain appearances, Evie pretends to have romantic feelings for Sam Lloyd, another diviner who possesses the ability to alter memories and perceptions. However, in reality, the two of them don't particularly like each other. They frequently engage in heated arguments and are not above hurling sharp objects at one another when they've had too much to drink. When Sam jokingly announces to the media that they are engaged, the public becomes infatuated with the idea, and now Evie is expected to marry Sam. Meanwhile, Ling and Henry successfully locate Lewis, realizing that they make a more formidable team when working together. However, during their shared dream walking, they encounter a ghostly veiled woman who hauntingly utters the word murder. As she glides by, this mysterious woman is later revealed to be Waimei. One day, a stranger presents Evie with a comb, claiming that it belonged to her deceased brother, James. As Evie touches the object, she becomes immersed in its memories, witnessing her brother being shot by a soldier and narrowly escaping the same fate herself. Henry strikes a dangerous deal with Waimei in order to see Louis. However, Waimei traps not only Henry but also Ling, who bravely attempts to rescue him within the dream world. In the real world, they both appear to be in a deep slumber. Within the dream world, Henry discovers the heartbreaking truth that Louis has long been dead, murdered by individuals sent by his own father to teach him a lesson. Meanwhile, Ling unravels a solution to release Waimei from her tormented existence in the dream world. By placing a piece of fruit peel into Waimei's screaming mouth, Ling hopes to set her spirit free. In the real world, the other diviners, including Sam and Evie, gather in a graveyard to bury Waimei's remains, an act they believe will finally bring peace to her spirit. In the final chapter, Sam's mother, Miriam, finds herself held hostage by a malevolent figure known as the Shadow Man. He threatens to torture her unless she discloses the precise whereabouts of Sam and the other diviners. She holds on to the hope that Sam will locate her in time. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.